The Contra series is one of extreme ups and downs. The original NES games and the spectacular Contra 3 on the SNES were fantastic. The PlayStation sequels were some of the darkest hours in publisher Konami's history. No, the Contra name hasn't guaranteed quality for quite some time now, but the folks who develop our way forward are obviously old-school shooter fans, and their love of the genre shines through in this, the best Contra game in over a decade. Red Falcon has finally been completely and utterly destroyed, but the war's not over. Black Viper, leader of the second wave of alien invaders, has got Earth in his crosshairs and can't wait to cleanse it of humanity. How can they possibly avoid this horrible fate? Why, calling the heroes of Contra's past, of course. Bill, Lance, Mad Dog, and Scorpion take up their guns once again and head out to save the world. And unless you read the manual, you probably won't know any of this. Even more importantly, you probably won't care. Contra 4 simply tasks you with moving forward through wave upon wave of attacking aliens by filling them with lead. What more could you ask from a Contra game? Contra 4 doesn't offer a whole lot of variety, at least not at first. Just the arcade and museum options are available when you boot up the game. Arcade mode can be played alone or cooperatively, assuming you have a friend with another copy of the game and their own Nintendo DS. The museum is a visual trip down memory lane, chronicling the story of each game in the Contra series, even if they aren't part of the main timeline. On top of that, you get box art and a smattering of screenshots from each title. Finish Contra 4, though, and a few new game options open up. Once you've unlocked Challenge Mode, you can use it to gain access to a bunch of new options, including the ability to play through the original Contra and its sequel Super C for the NES. For a handheld game, the amount of content is definitely worth the cash. Contra 4 is as old school as you can get. In fact, veterans of the series will recognize not only all of the weapons, but some of the levels, bosses, and remixed music throughout the whole game. Developer WayForward has created an incredible homage to one of the greatest action series in history. And just like the original Contra and some of its sequels, Contra 4 is hard. Is it ridiculously so? Kind of, depending on your skill level. Even on the easiest difficulty setting, the game can easily hand you your tail. But you'll want to play on the higher difficulty settings anyway, as that's the only way to see the final couple of levels in the game and the new weapon leveling system, which isn't in effect when you play on easy. Either way, even fans of old school shooters in general will find something to love in Contra 4. Along with the punishing difficulty comes non-stop action and bosses that tower two screens tall, and you have to be meticulously torn apart with a torrent of bullets. It's a fantastic throwback to the types of games many of us played in our youth. The original Contra arcade machine was a side-scrolling shooter, but it featured a tall screen. In a way, the dual screens of the Nintendo DS emulate this original aspect ratio nicely. But there is one major problem. Contra 4 treats the border between the two screens as basically missing space. So, as you scroll, items, enemies, and bullets can get lost in this no-man's land. This can lead to lethal objects appearing out of nowhere to kill your hero, which is a really frustrating way to die. Other than that, the visuals and music stir memories of the older Contra games. Though this isn't a by-the-book remake of any of the previous titles, the levels and bosses have a certain familiarity that Contra vets will love. Contra 4 is a stunning return to form and a fitting 20th anniversary present for fans of the series. Yes, it's challenging, but in a good way. The difficulty is never too frustrating, and in the same way that most classic shooters operated, success in Contra 4 is based solely on quick reflexes and pattern recognition. All in all, it's a fantastic game to add to your DS collection.